Hi everyone, it is February 4, 2019. Attacked with sonic weapons, ultrasonic waves bombarded with these ultrasonic weapons. We have heard now in the last um, 10 years, more and more shooters saying that they were attacked with sonic weapons and well, one of the most notable is Myron May. Listen to this for a few seconds, a few minutes. For now, things seem to be back to normal on campus. Students have fallen back into their routines, but it was here not so long ago on a tragic night that has many wondering what could make a man snap and lose control. What causes a seemingly well-liked guy to plan a mass murder? Is it mental illness, or as many suggest, being a victim of gang stalking? Uh, the goal of gang stalking is literally uh, to drive a target individual crazy. If you search gang stalking on the internet, you can find thousands of people all over the world describing similar circumstances. Those who feel they are victims of gang stalking truly believe people are out to get them. They employ isolation tactics. Um, they basically try to convince your family, your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers uh, that they should be keeping an eye on you. In a two-hour video diary that May released before the shooting, he explains how and when he started to believe he was a targeted individual. A constant bout of noise that is never-ending is designed to keep the target individual on edge. In September of 2014, while May was living in Las Cruces, New Mexico, he filed a police report. In the incident report, May told police that someone put a camera in his apartment and that he was hearing voices coming through the walls. May began to believe family and friends were in on the conspiracy to make him crazy. I am totally not crazy. I'm, I'm completely sane, but they've employed these tactics against me as well to try to make me appear uh, to be a crazy person. Tyrone Dew, an and advocate and victim of gang stalking, I can't says it's hard to turn prove this that gang stalking oh, is not just in your mind. Wow. It's virtually impossible to be able to tell that okay. someone is being attacked because we cannot see these weapons that are being used against you. We can only see the direct effects. And these effects, you know, really seem like symptoms. And what unfolded that Thursday morning in November is testimony of just how bad those suffering from mental illness can get. Through the entire process, Myron May believed he was being stalked. All right, I have to click it off. I'm having so many computer problems, I can't, I can't fathom what the hell is going on. All right, Myron May. If you put in the search bar on YouTube, Myron May, you will come across videos of this man talking. He is lucid. He is... Um, quite eloquent. He is intelligent. Uh, he studied, uh, went to law school, became an attorney, very well liked by an awful lot of people. What happened to Myron May? Well, I believe him. I do believe that this man was made crazy. And Unfortunately, I'm going to show you that we've got a lot of crazy going on. I just came across this video, which I had never before. Myron May, final video, audio tweaked, reveals audio harassment. Listen to this. Yeah, it's called, yeah, uh, it's called, uh, my experience as a target my individual, as a target part, individual, one. individual part one. What I've done is um, what I've tweak done the is, audio, um, tweak the and audio, then I put the audio and then I back, put the over audio back the video. Over so the what video. you're gonna hear, so what you're gonna hear is you'll slightly is hear you'll him talking, slightly hear him but you're talking. also going you're to hear all the audio, all the audio harassment uh, that he complained of, that he complained of in the recording as well, in the recording while he's talking. Well, while he's talking. So, okay. Well. So now it works. Um, I want you to listen to this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so many of you have tinnitus, the buzzing, the hissing, the uh, clicking sounds, however you um, describe it, the high-pitched tones that come periodically, the shutting off one ear or both where suddenly it sounds like you're in a tunnel um, or an airplane, um, These frequencies are coming from all over. Radar, Gwen Towers, cell towers, antennas, um, and cell phones. Now, what Myron May was experiencing here was not hearing what this man has been able to um, discover, the background audio Bombardment, the audio harassment of Myron May. Okay, so can they send messages? with literal words into somebody's brain without they knowing it. Yes. Can they, can they send in uh, specific sounds, music into somebody's head without them realizing it? Yes. Unfortunately, these weapons have been perfected and they are using them. You know, how often are we seeing these mass shooters? You know, they leave notes behind or they have revealed before the shooting you know, that they have been the uh, subject of sonic weapon attacks. They're targeted individuals. They're attacked with microwaves or sonic um, frequencies that are driving them nuts. But when you look at what is happening in our country with mental illness skyrocketing, mental patients flood ERs, uh, white middle-aged suicide in America skyrockets, US suicide rates have climbed dramatically. You know, you just put in suicide is skyrocketing Massachusetts suicide rates are skyrocketing. Virginia, D.C. suicide rates are skyrocketing. Oklahoma, suicide increases by 37%. Michigan, suicide rate increases. Okay, what is going on? Now, unfortunately, there are so many factors that contribute to one who takes their life. So, this is not a simple um, cause and effect. Hey, we can discern what is happening and the reasons for this. And if we could, then we could actually um, do something about these skyrocketing rates. If we don't know the cause of an event, then we can't tackle it to try to solve the problem. And don't think that that was not part of the plan. You've got toxins and food in the air, in our, in our water. Um, you've got the geoengineering, the dumping of all of these chemicals and heavy metals. You have frequencies that were saturated in coming at us from all different sources, smart meters, Wi-Fi, uh, cell towers, Gwen Towers, the radar, um, numerous, teen suicide, skyrocketing, and they sit in these Wi-Fi schoolrooms. So this just happened a couple of days ago. TSA officer commits suicide 
grounding flights at Orlando International Airport. He took a dive from you know, high above and killed himself in the airport. Hmm. What's happening here? I am passing along this video that was passed along to me and I want to thank the person who passed it along to me. Uh, interesting. I subscribe to Dana and my it's now taken off. Okay, hit subscribe again. Um, X Department of Homeland Security employee reveals in this interview on this coming technology 5G. Here you will listen to a Department of Homeland Security who was assigned to an airport and the symptoms that this woman after working in this airport uh, for uh, a time she came down with all of these symptoms that she did not have prior to working. She was healthy. She even got um, uh, the disability insurance prior to going to work at this airport. You, If you have symptoms, and I know this because I tried to get disability insurance a uh, long, long time ago, uh, I was denied because, you know, of my uh, pre-existing conditions. So she speaks of all of these horrendous symptoms that she is experiencing. The cancer rates, by the way, in TSA agents skyrocketing. Why? Because they are working around 5G millimeter waves and they have been working around very dangerous uh, frequencies that unfortunately are altering their physical health. But what about our brains? All right, I'm just going to uh, show you this. Um, recommend that you click on the link below to read uh, this book, How the U.S. Government Won the Arms Race in Control. To control, man, sorry, to control. Um, and the contents, the introduction, this book is a description of the history and known facts of electromagnetic and neurological technology within the framework of classified non-consensual government ex experimentation. It is presented as a list of footnotes with brief commentary. It explains how the government, in particular the United States and the former Soviet Union, have engineered science into a technology in order to target and control the mind and body for political and military purposes. So you can read about uh, the, you know, a description of the chapters. But here is the brain code chapter nine the brain code the soviets discovered the genetic code of the brain the united states soon had those codes what are those codes well <laughs> they're specific frequencies to induce specific feelings 4.5, paranoia. 6.6, .6, depression, suicide. 11, manic behavior, anger. 25, or, yeah, 25, blindness if aimed at the head. Heart attack if aimed at the chest. Other consequences of frequencies used but not listed here are hysteria, trauma, lust, murder, cancer all may be induced by just a stroke on a computer keyboard with the frequency targeted at you, voila. You've got the power to control people, how they feel, what they think. Um, here, since the early 1960s, this country, America and Russia, 
have had what is called the Non-Lethal Weapons Program or Synthetic Telepathy Program, which means they can induce voices in your head. It is well documented now that in the early 1960s in Moscow, the Russians beamed constant low-level radiation down into the American embassy, causing miscarriages, leukemia, cancers, um, embassy personnel died. Since then, the non-lethal weapons program has become very sophisticated indeed. It is used as a long-term, low-level radiation weapon to cause populations uh, induce illness at higher intensities. It can cause blindness, heart attacks, confusion. The details of all of the intensities are unknown to me. Who is this? This is none other than Dr. Barry Trower, who is a retired um, British military microwave weapons expert. And this, <clears throat> this is the full report that he was asked by uh, the British government to produce the effects of Tetra on police officers in the UK. Tetra in Britain is um, their emergency network, their emergency system, similar to what Gwen was. The Gwen Towers ground wave emergency network that was supposed to be our emergency network which they discom uh, discommissioned in the 70s but you see these Gwen Towers they have proliferated all over the United States and they sure are um, along our interstate whatever interstate you are driving on you will see Gwen Towers some are just areas are loaded with them and you will see one, two, three, four back to back or in particular areas you will see 20 on one side of the interstate, 15 on the other side of the interstate and there you have a, a, a military transmitter of these ground wave frequencies, though the Gwen can also um, shoot frequencies into the atmosphere. But when you see that concentration of Gwen Towers, you know that that is being used for weather modification. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this to point out, number one, I don't like individuals' truth being so destroyed by others. You know, you work so hard to accomplish, to accomplish something. Um, you're a decent, good human being. And external forces come in via incredibly evil people and they start doing things and suddenly you recognize that your life is being snuffed out everything that you are genuinely is being replaced with this uh, evil from other people, but your truth just never gets told. Instead, your truth is you're a crazy nut job who shut up people. I don't like that. It really upsets me. Um, so, the other reason I'm doing this is because our population is being controlled already. It's happening. We're watching it. It's only going to get worse. So here Barry Trower talks about um, 
the sophistication of the research. We had Operation Pandora, which was a joint CIA MI6 operation since the 60s. Operation Woodpecker, the uh, Soviets in 1976, Operation Harp, which is still running in the USA. They are able to define specific pulse frequencies to cause specific brain malfunctions or illnesses. Uh, I may do another video on Barry Trower's report because it really, well, it sure does uh, sum up just in one report what we are all facing. Now, psychotronics and electromagnetic weapons, remote control of the nervous system. So we have a lot of people who now are really coming out strong against 5G, but the one through 4G, you didn't hear much. 4G has been incredibly dangerous. The 5G, the dangers, as far as I'm concerned, are related to health. The 5G, see, they're not taking away the 4G. They're not taking away the Gwen Towers and the Cell Towers and the radar and all of the frequencies that we are subjected to. They're only adding more dangerous frequencies to the pile. And Barry Trower, in that uh, report, uh, confidential report on Tetra, he talks about the cumulative effect. And it's very dangerous. So, the 5G is just going to bring on more illness and kill people faster. The other concern about 5G is it is the active denial system that the army uses overseas to control people with these frequencies. They can erect invisible barriers, keeping people out of certain areas, preventing people from going uh, into specific areas. It's used for perimeter control. We are designing an invisible prison grid. But how do they market it? Oh my God, you're going to be able to download a movie in three seconds. Wow! Good, bring it on. They have no idea the real reason for this. Um, so, these psychotronic electromagnetic weapons. Unfortunately, all of my highlighting came off. Another problem I'm having. Where highlighting is showing up, where I haven't highlighted, or where I've highlighted, it then comes off. Which makes... And I'm living complete and utter frustration every single day. I have been for years, and I have to wonder what the hell is going on with my life. But let me just um, start with saying that this article is loaded with factual evidence of this technology and how it is being used. And back in the 60s, we had Jordan McDonald, who was an expert on war problems. He sat on a committee uh, for, headed the committee for JF, um, not JFK, LBJ. Um, and he said, this was back in the 60s, that properly timed electronic and artificially generated electronic impulses could lead to a pattern of oscillations that produces relatively high levels on some areas of the earth. In this way, it could develop a system that would seriously alter the brain performance of a very large population in the region selected for an extended period. period. HARP can do that. HARP can do that. So let me go through some of the information in this article because it's very, very important that everybody understand that we are 
now and have been for many years living as the enemy. We are at war. It's not a conventional war. It's unconventional. They are using unconventional weapons, weapons that we cannot see. They use weather as a weapon because they have the technology to control the weather, but they're also using these frequencies against all of us. We are all targeted. They use these frequencies from the Gwen Towers, the ultra low frequencies, which are the sonic weapons, the radar, the high frequencies that they can use as mini harp stations, shooting the high frequencies uh, right into the ionosphere that that produces um, powerful frequencies to come back down to Earth. The Wi-Fi, the microwaves, the screens that you are looking at right now, computer screens, TV screens, cell phones, all can have uh, frequencies emitted from the devices that affect your brain. Now Barry Trower talks about how these frequencies permeate your blood-brain barrier. And he also said the blood-brain barrier the pulsating of the frequencies can permeate that blood-brain barrier, but the pulsating frequencies can also um, affect particles to grow or diminish. So if you have frequencies that can permeate, that can alter your blood-brain barrier to allow toxins to cross that the blood-brain barrier kept out. It was like the barrier that kept your brain safe. So you have the frequencies that are altering that barrier and they're spraying dangerous toxins, the chemicals, the heavy, heavy metals that allow now us to, when we're breathing, the nanoparticles that they're spraying are crossing the blood-brain barrier. Hence the reason why we're seeing an awful lot of crazy with mental illness skyrocketing, suicide skyrocketing, um, people getting angry, irritated, uh, relationships just you know are um, off the charts now, rupturing um, the discord, It's only going to get worse. So, yes, 5G lays the foundation for a future program of control, not only of things, but also of minds. The Chinese are already on the way. And I don't know if you know this, but we had a retired general warning, warning the world uh, that China was weaponizing cities with 5G. Now, do you think that this general doesn't know that we too are weaponizing our cities with 5G? Of course he does. Uh, China must never be allowed to develop a global 5G network. This is General Robert Spaulding, retired, former Trump administration official, served on the National Security Council until last year. According to this general, China will introduce mass surveillance and widespread control if it is allowed to dominate 5G networks, linking billions of Internet of Things connected devices. We're doing the exact same thing. The more connected we are, and 5G, 5G will make us more connected by far, the more vulnerable we become. Yes. Okay. Uh, that should raise eyebrows, but unfortunately, I guess uh, thinking has just become an activity that most people are just giving up. So let me get into this and see if I can get through it as quickly as possible. Psychotronics and electromagnetic weapons, remote control, 
of the nervous system. In 2012, a Russian defense minister said this, the development of armaments based on the new principles of physics. By the way, this is from an Italian site. They have translation, so the translation is not perfect, but it's well enough to understand. Um, so physics, directed energy weapons, geophysical weapons, energy wave weapons, genetic weapons, psychotronic weapons, is part of the state arms procurement program for the years 2011 2020. The media, of course, uh, did in fact publish some of the research on the psychotronic weapons. Putin, this was just recent. No, I'm sorry, this was March 2012, right? Okay, Putin targets foes with zombie gun which attack victims' central nervous system. Mind-bending psychotronic guns that can effectively turn people into zombies. Futuristic weapons which will attack the central nervous system of the victims could be used against Russia's enemies and perhaps its own dissidents by the end of the decade. Putin has described the guns, which use electromagnetic radiation, like that found in microwave ovens, like that found in cell phones coming from cell towers or Gwen towers, all wireless devices, Wi-Fi in schools, smart meters, pulsating frequencies into your home. It's an entirely new instrument for achieving political and strategic goals. Such high-tech weapon systems will be comparable, in effect, to nuclear weapons, but will be more acceptable in terms of political and military ideology. Plans to introduce the superweapons were in announced last week by the Russian Defense Minister. Previous research has shown that low-frequency waves or beams can affect brain cells, alter psychological states, and make it possible to transmit suggestions and commands directly into someone's thought processes. High doses of microwaves can damage the functioning of internal organs, control behavior, or even drive victims to suicide or homicide. It's a highly serious weapon. Interesting is this. When it was used for dispersing a crowd, and it was focused on a man, his body temperature went up immediately as if he was thrown into a hot frying pan. 5G millimeter wave active denial system right there. Okay, and of course, um, a Russian foreign intelligence agency died in Scotland after making claims about such weapons this weapons program to MI6 in Britain. Yes, he died after falling from a Glasgow Tower block. His family thinks there was foul play. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, that was 2012. They were saying that they were working on this technology. They've already had the research done, the experiments done, and this technology is in play, operational, and has been used for many years. Unfortunately, we do have a media that, well, our investigative journalists and reporters are little children and they're scared of the military, so they don't, they don't report what is absolutely necessary for the people the, the uh, ordinary citizens in countries to understand what is taking place and then act to try to get it stopped. That will never happen. Uh, unfortunately, we are now looking at being surrounded by zombies due to these frequencies, as well as all of the poisons and toxins in our environment. And remember, you know, I posted this video in the, the entirety of the video on my channel, I did a video yesterday 
on Dr. James um, Giordano, The Brain is the Battlefield of the Future. And what was he talking about? The devices, the frequencies, but he also talked about the drugs, the toxins in our environment, bugs, um, and other ways to control the human being. So, um, and I say all of that, you'll understand why in just a moment. Um, most of the public mainstream media publications did not go into the extensive scientific research which was carried out all over the world. One newspaper, El Spectador in Colombia, had an article covering the full range of results and advances in this field. The British Daily Mail was another exception, wrote in an article, the research into electromagnetic weapons has been carried out secretly by the US and Russia since the 1950s and that previous research has shown that waves or low frequency rays can affect brain cells, alter psychological states, and make it possible to transmit conditioning and commands directly into the individual's thought processes. In 1975, a neurophysiologist, um, Dr. Don Justison, the director of the Laboratories of Experimental Neuropsychology at the Veterans Administration Hospital in Kansas City, USA. This is an Italian site, so that's why he, it's written this way. But um, he inadvertently leaked information from the National Security Information National Security Council. Uh, he published an article in the American Psychologist on the influence of microwaves on the behavior of living creatures. In the article, he cited the results of an experiment conducted by um, Joseph Sharp, who was working on Project Pandora, a secret project of the American Navy, and he wrote this. By irradiating oneself with these modulated microwaves on the voice, these um, researchers were readily able to hear, identify, and distinguish between nine words. This was back in 1975. Nine words. The sounds heard were not dissimilar to those emitted by uh, people with the artificial larynx. That system was sub subsequently perfected, is, and that's shown by the documents that appear on the site of the Environmental Protection Agency of you know, America in 1997, where its Office of Research and Development presented the project of the Department of Defense, communicating through the auditory effect of the microwave, and in it, they found this written. It describes a revolutionary and innovative technology using both a low intensity laboratory system and a high power radio frequency transmitter, radar. That's why we have been seeing so much activity on our radar sites unusual activity, unusual anomalous. I'd say it's no longer an anomaly when it becomes a common normal thing that you're looking at, but all of those um, beams that fan out coming from Doppler radar and those beams can, or the low frequency beams, they have very long waves, like 300 miles. So when you have these um, transmitter sites, Doppler radar, all over the country, and they are in use, they're affecting huge regions, the populations within those regions, altering their psychological state, their mental capability, 
their emotions, their physical health. Uh, in 2002, the Air Force Research Laboratory patented precisely such technology using microwaves to send words into someone's head and discovered via a FOIA request Aeronautica published documents that were not classified. So concerning this 2002 patent, the patent was based on human experimentation in the Air Force laboratory in October 1994, where scientists were able to transmit sentences in the heads of human subjects. So the author of this article wants to re-emphasize the world media have avoided publishing the full range of progress made in research into remote control of the human nervous system. Uh, Dr. Robert Becker, twice nominated for a Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize for his part in the discovery of the effects of pulse fields to heal fractured bones. So, he, uh, many of you know this book, Body Electric, which should be compulsory reading for every uh, high school student, but it's not. Um, I do want to make the point right now that many people say they wouldn't be doing this because they're affected by the frequencies and they're affected by all you know of what you claim, the geoengineering, the aerosol spraying of chemicals and heavy metals, they too are affected. You've got to understand that these frequencies can be used for good or used in a very evil uh, manner. They're being used in the evil manner against us because we are the enemy of the so-called elite. The elite can use these frequencies to cure disease, to cure fractured bones. Okay, so in the body electric, Robert Becker talks of, or writes of, an experiment in 1975, or four, by J.F. Schapitz. And he wrote, in this investigation, it will be shown how the word pronounced by the hypnotist can also be conveyed directly into the subconscious parts of the human brain by means of modulated electromagnetic energy without the use of technical devices to receive or decode messages and without the exposed persons this influence they don't have any ability consciously to even control the information input they're even unaware that information is being put into their brains. There were also experiments um, described in this book. Uh, the subjects were given a 100 question test which ranged from easy to technical questions. Subsequently, not knowing, they would be irradiated, they would have their subjected, they would have information beams suggesting answers to leave blank questions or amnesia for some correct answers or a memory forgery for other correct answers. Memory forgery, a memory that is not yours, induced into your brain and suddenly you're having the memory of someone else. Yes, they have this technology. They've had it for a very long time. They are using it. Um, it is quite evident that in such experiments, messages were sent to the human brain in ultrasound frequencies, which the human brain perceives, but the subject is unaware. Becker, of course, was destroyed because he refused to support the construction of antennas for submarine communication via brain frequencies. He lost all financial support for his research, his career gone. Evil people affecting other good people. Don't like evil winning.
I do not like evil winning. And it is. Um, in, two, in 2000, the Russian State Duma Security Committee stated that many modern governments have at their disposal means that allow remote control of the human nervous system or the possibility of remotely inducing physical illness. Uh, it's evident that those technologies are used, it, that it conflicts with the Nuremberg Code, of course, but governments, look, they don't care about international law at all, or any codes that are supposed to be protecting uh, ordinary citizens. Israel used these weapons. They experiment on Palestinians. Um, the United States military uses these weapons all over the place, but also on U.S. citizens. Uh, the, the ousted president of Honduras, Zelaya, stated that he was subjected to electron bombardment with microwaves, which produced headaches and organic destabilization. I absolutely do believe Hugo Chavez died of a cancer that was induced, and yes, they can do that, uh, Mikhail Gorbachev in 1991. He, there was the possibility of an overthrow. They were using mind control technology against those in his cabinet. And afterwards, the vice president of the League of Independent Scientists of the USSR stated this. As an expert and legal entity, I declare that mass production of psychotronic biogenerators has been launched in Kiev. What are psychotronic generators? This is equipment that produces the effect of guided control in the human organism. Its effects are particularly on the right and left hemispheres of the cortex, and this is also the technology of the U.S. Zombie 5 project. Torture, drugged and bugged, targeting, gang, uh, gang stalking, covert drugging, human experimentation, Morgellons, microwaves, energetic, entomological, and genetic weapons, the silent warfare of mind control in America and abroad, illuminating darkness. The project using all of the technologies and methods that this guy, James Giordano, spoke about publicly speaking to West Point cadets and faculties, stating, admitting that all of this is operational. We are using this. The brain is the battlefield, not of the future. They already have been at war for many, many years. You know, I think to myself, okay, why are these people coming out publicly talking about all of these methods and technologies to control the human brain? Why do we see it more and more often? Putin coming out stating, hey, we've got this electromagnetic gun that can turn people into zombies. Why? The only thing that I can think of is, well, a lot of people claim that these evil satanic nut jobs need to publicly announce what they are doing to the public and then they escape uh, karma of doing something evil. Uh, sorry, you're not escaping any karma, but... Um, I also think it's because people are zombies already. Because they have been using all of this technology, people are incapable. They are now in a condition where they can't fight for anything. They can't think. They don't care. The apathy is widespread. And 
they are clearly incapable of doing anything that's in their best interest. An awful lot of people think they are swell. They're fine. And nothing could be further from the truth if you just watch how they are living. There are so many people that I have met that own property. They understand Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. They understand that we are losing our property rights and they do nothing, nothing at all to save their own property. Americans, on the whole, have become a people who are incapable of responding to anything that they even know is a danger to them. They cannot act in their own best interest. That means something has gone amiss in so many people. It's like they're just sitting, waiting for somebody to come and take away their property. You know, they're, we're, we're taxed up the wazoo. We know so much corruption is taking place in local, state, federal government, and nothing happens. There's like no care. Oh, well, that's just the way it is. Um, so, I do believe that they can come out with this information. They don't care anymore because they know they got the brain already. They got the collective brain. People are being controlled. But the Russian politician, uh, Vladimir Lupentin, admitted in his book, Psychotronic Weapon and Security of Russia, that Russia was experimenting on unsuspecting citizens. He said this, we need legal processes to make reparations for damages and losses that refer to the social rehabilitation of people suffering from destructive informational influences. And he also visited Dick Cheney in 1999. Yes, Mr. Evil himself, Dick Cheney. So why was this research kept secret until today? Uh, well, it's still kind of secret only because people refuse to do the research to find out that there's so much information available to anyone who gets off their butt to do some research to access that information they could find out what is happening but the first is there is a secret competition between the armies of the world where the superpowers compete to achieve decisive supremacy in this area and thus manage control over the whole world. And the second is that governments keep these technologies warm if they are unable to control by democratic means the crises that may arise as a result of their mediocre decisions. Uh, well, they are using these frequencies to control the public. Um, they create crises, you know, for their own agendas. In both cases, you know, we have now the end of quote unquote democracy uh, and human freedom. It's gone. It truly is. You know, a lot of people are still of the mindset, it's coming. No, we've been living it. You know, this idea that. Uh, agenda 2030. Oh my God, it's going to come at 2030. No, that's the that's the the final year for it to be completed. It's ongoing. Um, freedom we see every single day being ripped away from Americans. Their constitutional rights violated all over the place. Our Supreme Court has gutted our constitutional rights. Due process is a farce. Uh, uh, posse comitatus, my God, uh, is gone. Military, our police militarized, <laughs> military all over the place. Uh, you know, and Americans are just, well, who cares? You know, I got to watch my show on TV later on. Um, just want to be entertained. 
Just want to be entertained. Leave me alone with the serious stuff. I'm a child. I want to be entertained. That's what we're living. The former, another former Russian defense minister said that it's still going to be a maximum of eight years before these weapons are officially part of the Russian military arsenal. No, they're here. And that's the deception, you know, of government officials and mainstream media. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. No, it's here. They are operational. They're using them. So the American Harp system launched uh, in the 90s a system that is supposed to target large regions of the planet by making the ionosphere vibrate at the brain frequencies. The HARP system can also transmit in brain frequencies, uh, the beta or whatever frequency they want to put into the computer and then hit enter. Um, then you have Russia coming out declaring its willingness to ban mind control technologies. Bullshit. Um, all a staged play. So Russia turned to the UN, OECD, Council of Europe, with a proposal to have a convention to ban the development of these weapons. Uh, the issue was discussed with the United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan uh, and included in the UN General Assembly it's likely that the U.S. refused to negotiate, so it was wiped off the um, agenda for the General Assembly. The American Congress, an amendment appeared that proposed a ban on technologies. Uh, that was the Space Preservation Bill, but the amendment was changed. The ban on these technologies was left out. Neither U.S. Congress or U.S. Presidents ever made an effort to ban any mental control weapons. Why? Because our country has already been taken over. We are the enemy. They are using these weapons against us. European Parliament. I posted many videos on Kafka Winston World, my primary channel, uh, that got terminated by YouTube, on this resolution in 1999 from the European Parliament well, to prohibit manipulation of human beings. The resolution stated an awful lot, but here, an excerpt, an international convention and a ban on all research and development, both civil and military, which seeks to apply the knowledge of chemistry, electro uh, techniques, uh, techniques, I don't know, sound vibration, and other functions of the human brain for the development of these weapons that can allow any form of manipulation of human beings, including uh, the prohibition of any actual or possible deployment. When you have, when you have governments who are calling for the prohibition of these weapons, do you think they're doing it because the weapons don't exist? I, you can't get through to anybody now. The obvious just whoop, goes right over people's heads. Of course, the weapons already. The research, the development, the experiments already done in operational use. Government saying we've got to ban these weapons. And nothing happened. In fact, the EU, the, the parliament came back pretty much resigned from their intention to try to prohibit the weapons when they accepted the NATO policy on non-lethal weapons. 1999, NATO announced a new policy of non-lethal weapons and their place in the Allied arsenal. Non-lethal instruments identified by the U.S. military included energy weapon systems, radio frequency weapons, and an energy directed system, an energy directed weapon system designed to match a radio frequency source to interfere with the human brain activity at the synaptic level. Your synapses are being altered. Brzezinski, of course, in his book Between Two Ages America's Role 
in the technotronic era predicted a more controlled and direct society based on the development of technology where an elitist group will play a leading role which will take advantage of persistent social crises to use avant-garde techniques to influence human behavior and keep the company under strict surveillance and control. Keep the company. Yes, the U.S. is a company. It's a corporation. Incorporated. Governments are not what people think they are. Um, but an elite group will have control over the masses with these avant-garde techniques, the frequencies. So when we see all of these people out on the streets and they're screaming, uh, capitalism is the evil, replace it with socialism. And we see this is not just the young generations, but we see older Americans calling for socialism. What the hell is going on? Well, they're controlled. Their minds are controlled. Attempts to make known the existence of such weapons to the general public are systematically suppressed. Yes. So, this Vladimir Lepantin, who worked on the Russia State Duma Security Committee, um, who introduced an amendment an amendment to prohibit these technologies stated the arms race is accelerating as a result of the classification. Secrecy, firstly, the way to ensure a cruel control over people, the way to reduce their creativity and reduce them to bio robot, robots, zombies. And he went on to say it's already happening without a de uh, declaration of war secretly. Only if the work on the problem of mind control will no longer be covered by the curtain of secrecy, by the extraordinary, by the mysteriousness, only if a complex scientific research is carried out in the open with international participation, the psychotronic war, including the use of psychotronic weapons, can be avoided. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't avoided. And now we've got to be very, very careful that we don't get controlled. Our health is absolutely controlled. Our emotions, just reading in the comments section, many are experiencing emotions that they do not understand. Many write, I am no longer myself. But they can use these frequencies to target individuals to make them bona fide crazy to kill themselves to kill others to ruin people destroy marriages families careers it's taking place there are no laws that punish the use of these technologies by governments only in Russia and in some US states there are laws that punish the ownership or the trade of these technologies by non-governmental entities. Yes, Second Amendment. Take away the guns. Destroy the Second Amendment. Uh, take away guns from ordinary citizens and just put them in the hands of government. Doesn't sound like a very good idea. Government can have these weapons. Ordinary citizens can't. So, in the state of Michigan, the sentence for this type of crime is equal to the sentence for the property or trade in weapons of mass destruction. Okay, uh, yeah, it, I did absolutely go into detail. I do consider details very, very important. So, I hope that you circulate this information. You do not have to circulate my videos. This is not about, hey, me getting a lot of views. This is about all of you doing your part to circulate very important information. This war will never stop unless people become aware and become active. But at least if you can get through to Americans 
that this is taking place. Yes, people like Myron May. Well, you help the individual who is already gone. Doesn't matter. Their truth needs to be spoken. Who they were before these weapons were used against them to turn them into crazy people. Just want to um, show you this. China controls the brain of workers. It's the worst scenario. Um, Orwell's 1984. Yes, they are controlling the brains of employees, reading brain waves. It's brain monitoring technology. It's NeuroCap funded by um, the government. It's a brain surveillance program to monitor the employee's emotional state. Oh, there is so much coming out now. All of these devices to monitor the emotional state of an awful lot of people. And I'll be posting videos on that. All links are below.